Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a new article in Joomla. So I've got my current installation of Joomla open in my browser and this is the installation that we uh, installed pretty much tutorials ago. I haven't actually changed anything but you can see that we have this article showing up on the web page over here. So this is an article and the article heading is getting started okay so that is how we know that this is an article and we also have a little menu on the right hand side over here that says latest articles getting started so that is the uh, one and only article that we have on our website at the moment so if i click on that it's going to take me straight back here but now let's take a look at how to actually add a new article in Joomla. So you're going to have to go over to the back end of Joomla and of course uh, hopefully you guys know how to get here but of course you have to log in and uh, all that good stuff and then you can go over to content article manager and I could have just gone straight to add new article but I just wanted to go into the article manager so that I could show you guys that right now we have one article which is called getting started and I'm going to go ahead and click the new button here and we can create a new article. Okay. And whenever you create a new article in Joomla, you have to give it a title. So let me just say something like my uh, first article. And then we'll also give this article some text. Uh, probably good to just maybe throw in a heading. So I'm going to use this text editor here to just pick a heading. Uh, and we'll go for a heading two and we'll just say hey everyone uh, and then uh, once I hit enter you can see that the formatting has changed back to paragraph and I say uh, this is my first Joomla article okay now I actually have an article that I can go ahead and save uh, one thing that I actually want to show you guys is if I go ahead and click on source code, you can see that it actually shows me the source code for the website or just the source code that is going to be displayed uh, for this article. And you can see I've actually got one too many paragraphs over here. So I can go ahead and remove that and then just have a heading and a paragraph underneath that. And I'm also going to show you guys in the future how to make a editor in Joomla that's a little bit better than this so you can uh, edit straight in uh, code rather than have to open up this little window okay but we'll get to that whenever we start talking about plugins okay but right now I've got my article I could go ahead and give that a category but I don't have any categories at the moment so the only one I can choose is uncategorized uh, featured will allow me to feature the article or uh, not feature the article. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave it at unfeatured. Uh, but we do want to keep this status as published and the access as public. If you change any of that stuff, it might not show up on the front end of the website, uh, depending on whether you're logged in or not uh, to the back end and that kind of thing. Okay. Uh, and then we can also set a whole bunch of permissions and stuff here although I'm not going to worry about that too much let's go ahead and just click save and now you can see we've auto generated an alias so that wasn't there a minute ago but now we have an alias and that is just how we get to the article uh, in the URL up here okay but now that we've got this article saved let me go ahead and refresh my browser and you can see that under latest articles, I now have a new link to an article called my first article. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And you can see that I now have an article over here, which uh, has my title, my first article. And that is the title we put up here. Okay. We also have the content, which is a header and a paragraph. And we did put indeed put a header and a paragraph over here so that's what's showing up okay and if we take a look at the URL in the top of the browser over here you can see that we have a um, <laughs> well an alias showing up of my dash first dash article and that's actually what we have 
in our alias over there. So those are kind of all the things that you can see in the front end. Okay, and we can also add images and a whole bunch of cool stuff like that. So let me go ahead and insert an image. And here I'd have to actually put in the image source and the description of the image. Okay, which is kind of annoying. But what I could do is go ahead and click on uh, image down here. And this is going to allow me to pick an image from my Joomla installation. Uh, so right now, uh, in my images folder in Joomla, I've got uh, banners, headers, sample data, and all of this other default uh, Joomla stuff, which is actually just Joomla logos. Okay, and I could go ahead and just pick uh, any image, I guess. Insert that, and now we've got an image over there. And if we save that and uh, go back to the front end of the site and click refresh, then we should have the image show up over here as well. So that is pretty cool, and that is how you create an article in Joomla. Okay, now let's take a look at this little side thingy over here, which is the status. And right now it's set to published, which means anyone can see it. It's going to be visible on the front end of the website. If we say unpublished, that means nobody's going to be able to see it unless they log into the back end and want to maybe edit the article. So that's if you're writing an article and you're not quite done yet, um, you might want to just leave it as unpublished. Archived is going to be uh, really old articles that people probably aren't reading on your website anymore. So you just want to archive them and trashed will obviously trash the uh, article. Let's go ahead and change that back to published. I'm going to close this and uh, a cool way to publish and unpublish articles is to actually just go ahead and click on the tick and you can see that that changes to an X. So that means that the article is now unpublished. So if I go back over to the front end of the site over here, uh, you can see I got a 404 error because technically this uh, my first article doesn't exist anymore. Okay, and you can see that the link kind of disappeared from latest articles. And if I go ahead and publish that again uh, and come back here and refresh, the article should show up again and we should be able to visit it again as well. So uh, hey, look at that. That's pretty awesome. So that's just a quick way of publishing and unpublishing articles. You can also go ahead and feature them by adding in this little star uh, or you could archive and trash them by just clicking on that arrow. Okay, so that is how to uh, create articles and also manage articles in Joomla and that is all I have for you in this video. So don't forget to subscribe. Uh, please feel free to leave a comment or uh, like this video. It's really going to help my channel grow and I will see you guys next time.